<laughs> yes, I'm still alive. <laughs> Gla GLaDOS is displeased. No, GLaDOS is pleased. <laughs> As you can see, this is Bowser. He's standing. He's a character. He's a character. He's great, <laughs> even from far away. <laughs> okay, let's just start. Woo! We're back. And we're going to... Probably... The, uh, in the original game, yeah, this this level was um, a pain in the dick. <laughs> so we'll see how um, this uh, is changed. It's still a pain in the dick, probably. Maybe. Oh yeah, I almost forgot we had the costume. Yeah, we had Joke's the on you, Harry. Rayman doesn't have a dick. Uh, uh, no, the Batman uh, doesn't count. Shut up, all of you. <laughs> yeah. All right, what about okay? What about the commercial where he pees his name in the snow? <laughs> How does he do that? How does he do that? Explain that, Scrappy. <laughs> I mean, he said he didn't have a dick. That doesn't mean. <laughs> God. Turn of the Millennium video game ads were trash. <laughs> they were funky, all right. Yep. How are you gonna get that? I'm trying to see, uh... Up there? Like... Excuse I don't you, think right, man. I... Okay. Yeah, okay, I, 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 de I definitely have to, uh... Somehow make my way back, somehow. Oh, like this. Okay. I was gonna say, isn't it this? <laughs> Woo! Oh! Okay, <laughs> that works. That works. Yeah, we take those. Yeah. Um, so again, in, yeah, in the original game, you wouldn't have the running, uh, well not running shoes, but like the, the running ability at this point, so, yeah. You can't even find your running shoes. Running shoes. <laughs> running shoes. Torch Ripto! No. Torch, Torch Ripto! Ripto. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's old. <laughs> yeah. And what's is is that from a Spyro game? It's yeah. For, yeah, yeah, yes, then no. <laughs> it's um, it's from the it's from the it's from the brain scratch run. It is from oh. the Spyro too. Like the um, the um, the disc was the disc was messing up. So, yeah, so it's just uh, like <laughs> torch ripped. <laughs> oh, like that, like that. That reminds me from like their like um, Jack and Daxter playthrough with like get him earlier, get him earlier, get him earlier. Get oh, him yeah, earlier. I remember that. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> It was this cow thing, and it was just like a like farmer, and he was like, it, it, it just, he just wanted to say, like, get him over here, get him over here, or whatever it is, but it, because the disc was messing up, it was, get him over here, get him over here, get him over here. <laughs> okay, this is completely different. Uh, it's, yeah, that that's a lot easier. Yeah, it, it, yeah in the original game, that, um, uh, you still got um, sent back and forth, but the platforms were like, straight like so like these it was like these platforms here um and you had to like make very precise jumps um yeah that was a lot easier i guess that hey is it gonna save or what it, it, you need to be like exact i i appreciate those um claret i'm not sure what instruments those are but those sentient instrument people those are kind of just like... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a, that's a trumpet. Yeah. The val the val the valve's giving the idea. <laughs> I appreciate their presence for you know Ugh. just dealing with the jumps like that you. you're talking about, right? Huh? Jumps like that one you just tried to do or what you're talking about, right? Uh, kind of. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, that works. Yeah. Um. Yeah, they. The uh, trumpets, yeah, in, in the original game, like, for the first section, yeah, you had to make uh, a bunch of, like, really precise jumps, and it's very easy to mess up and just fall. Um, and that, that's that's not even the uh, bad part of the level. Um, like, I mean, I guess we'll see how it how they changed it, but uh, there's a point where you had to balance on these, these uh, light, like, slippery platforms um, over a pit, and you... Uh, Keep in mind, you don't have the, um, not even just the running, you don't have the hover on this level in, in the original game, so it's really nerve-wracking and it's incredibly easy to just mess up. <laughs> it's like, and this is like level two. 
World 2. Yeah, well, point still stands. It's it's ridiculous. Oh, please. Oh, you meant level 2 yeah. of World 2. Bad, bad. Well, that too, yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh! Dang it. Well. Well. Well, we gotta do it all over again. I mean, I, I think this is also a like an optional path, but I kind of... I would like well, to... Well, there's an achievement over there, so there has to be something. I would also like to get as ma many cages and stuff as possible. possible. The uh, one thing that is also nice about this version is the fact that, like, collectibles actually mean something now. Um, in the original game, I think... I mean, I already said, like, the cages that like, unlock the final web uh, level, uh, but the... How uh, was it? The things, I think you get a hundred of them, uh, you get a, um... Hold on, I need to focus. Uh... Extra life? Yeah, you get an extra life. The... Oh, God damn it. The The problem is that, I think every every time you die, your things go count goes down to zero. So, the amount of times you're gonna get a life from things is probably only gonna happen in, like, the, in, like, the first world. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, it's not great. So I, I appreciate the fact that they like, they made it more of a currency here. But ow! All right, please. But ow! A trumpet's gonna be my sleep paralysis demon. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, yours too. That's gonna be the. <laughs> just gonna be the whole whole episode. Please just stop. Look, man, it's, it's, flu no. it's flu season, they're gonna be sneezing, okay? <laughs> well, if it's the flu season, that means we can grind up the Reaper Mementos. Oh wait, that's only vanilla for Son of Five. <laughs> I understood some of those words. <laughs> In vanilla Persona 5, um, when the weather was- when the flu season was happening, uh, this would affect anything in the big dungeon, Mementos, you know, the Smash Brothers stage. Mm -hmm. But, um, uh, if- but this includes the Reaper, who's the optional boss. I found another toenail! Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so what would happen is in the flu season, the Reaper would get the- the spare status. <laughs> which, after- which, it wouldn't do anything for two turns, and then it would just kill itself. Good. They were, and you and people can use that to grind off the Reaper. That's what the good, hell? That's a good sound. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sound like friggin' SpongeBob's jellyfish whistle that he used in one episode. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> loser. Loser. Is it pulling you in? Yeah, yeah, th those ones pull you in. Oh, that's tough. That's hilarious. <laughs> no, that's funny. <laughs> okay. Now that's comedy. That's another thing. Now um, that's comedy. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, the notes are like um are like a f whole platform. Um, if you land on those in the original game, th there'd be like a special uh, animation where like Rayman like jumps up and down and you just die immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Oh, thank God, it's over. It's a, yeah, it's over. That's not even the hard part. <laughs> as long I, as you don't hear it, I mean, I don't even know if the hard part's even gonna be in this level. The, it, oh, um, the level design is uh, quite a bit um, diverged from like what what it used to be. I don't think any of this was her. Hmm. So, you, oh Jesus. Okay, I think... Okay, yeah, th this is starting to look familiar. Like, I, I know- I, I know that the, that Rayman Redemption adds, like, some levels based off of the edge- based off of the edutainment game, so... <laughs> have fun with that. Oh, that's funny. Oh, yeah, this bit. Okay. This is gonna be, uh... I, I imagine this is gonna be, like, trivial c because we have the hover, but... Yeah, th this stuff coming up is ludicrous when you- all you have is, um, like, normal walking, 
like this and like punching stuff and all that. Can you <laughs> run? I imagine, you I can't imagine even run, no. Much, I imagine this would be like much harder without the hover. Yeah. I, I'm I'm not convinced this um safe platform downhill yeah, no, that wasn't there before. Like you you'd ha okay. Yeah, you'd have to do like platforming like this, but there's no safety. Like if you fall, you're done. <laughs> And and I can't you can't hover either, so it's like it it's, it sucks. So basically, you have a ledge grip everywhere. Yeah. Sounds fun. Yeah, right. Again, the the original game was not play tested, <laughs> and it shows sometimes. It really it really shows. No, I, I I do really I, I like I do really like the um. Just a thrill of like going really fast on these slippy slideys, though. Slippy slideys, that's great <laughs> terminology. Uh, oh, Jesus. Okay, that's different. It's kind of just fascinating just seeing the differences, though. Like, I don't. I'm not like super familiar with the original Rayman game, but I have played it a few times, so I do like know it. Um, so it's just kind of <laughs> fascinating. I think I talked about this last time, but my biggest memory is just that time you invited me to one of your parts. <laughs> yeah, that was ages ago. Seriously. I I don't remember anything I said in that. Me either, and, and I'm the one who remembers everything we say. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, like, unless it's like some, like, it's like, a, like, uh, something really funny or like something like really memorable happened. I'm probably not going to remember it. So if it's n you won't remember it unless it's worth remembering. Yeah, kind of. Boss or something, or is this the cool gimmick? Oh, I I'll know when I when we uh, get to the boss. <laughs> yeah, it's really funny going from like this game to uh, Rayman Two because like. Yeah, th this game is just so, like, wild, I guess. Like, they they, they just have, like, all these really out-there ideas with, like, the environments and the enemies and just kind of everything. And then Rayman 2 is a lot more, like, um, restrained, I guess. It's kind of weird. Like, it, again, it's like... It, it's, it, it kind of feels like every game in this series, like, hits the reset button. So, yeah, so we have like this, we have the darker environments of like Rayman 2, and then we get this full comedy, Rayman 3. Yeah. So that's just part of me. What was I gonna say? Some of that just seems to be just based on circumstance, like, um, mm. every fra pretty much every franchise that made the jump to 3D had to kind of soft reboot itself. I guess like, so. Even Mario, while still looking, it still looks like Mar. What am I saying? Mario 64 still looks like Mario, but you know, there's just gonna be some visual and gameplay shifts to, to accommodate the jump to 3D. Yeah, I mean, I it's also um, like a N64 like low poly uh, issue, if you want to call it that. That's the boss. Dude, cover that thing. There's children here. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, I guess the, the other thing is that, like, 64 has a lot of, um, uncanny valley designs with the, with, uh, with a lot of enemies, but I feel like that's more due to the N64's, like, low polygon count, rather than it really <laughs> <laughs> intending to- <laughs> No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but you just, like, you hear him twice, like, fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he just trots tr uh, he just trots off. A representation of every player trying to go through Rayman 1 on the PlayStation. Well, yeah, what the hell? Yep. Rayman is a weird game, folks. Yeah, again, th this game is weird. <laughs> um, uh, actually, I'm not even... I'm not sure wh whether or not, I, um, like, this or, like, Origins and Legends would be weirder. Because I feel... I, I feel like Origins and Legends are definitely more, like, on the wacky side. I feel like... I feel like Rayman 1 is more, like, surreal, I guess? Like a dream. Yeah, I mean, I guess that yeah. makes sense. 
Yeah, I feel like Rip well, Origins and Legends that would definitely be more on the wackier I would, side. Yeah, because yeah, like the whole thing about the world of Rayman, this is supposed to be a, re a world of dreams, isn't it? Yeah, 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 it's meant to be the glade of dreams, which uh, I guess works in the series' favor because yeah, they can just get away with like whatever weird locations they want, and I feel like uh, it. It definitely makes things, like, uh, stand out and, like, interesting between the games. Like, I feel like, um, Rayman 3 specifically, uh, you, you go for a lot of areas that gives you a bunch of different, um, for, I, I don't know if this is an actual term, but, like, atmospheric f feelings, I guess? Because, like, um, you go, you, okay, for example, like, you go to, like, Land of the Liver Dead and it's, like, very calming and peaceful. And then you go to like Desert of the Canarans, where where it's like really creepy and uh, terrifying. And I um I don't know I just like the uh, the um, different vibes you can get with that game. Oh, you're saying the Land of the Liberated is not the scariest place in Rayman Three? I can tell that you haven't played. I, I can tell that you don't know a lot about that game just by hearing that. I, it's funny I told you I played the, the demo. It's kind of funny when livid means angry. Yeah, I um. I, I only play it now. I remember that. Yeah, it's meant. I it's um, it's meant to be a uh, uh, like a, a moment where it's just like, uh, oh, go gotcha. Like you thought it was gonna be this, but it's actually like something else, kind of thing. Um, well, it's weird though, cause Origins. Um, like, makes Land of the Liver Dead actually what it's advertised as. So I don't know what's to deal with that, like... Continuity, or status as a prequel, maybe it got calmer over time. Maybe? Um, uh, I feel like it's either that, or my head headcanon is that the, um, the Liv Land of the Liver Dead in Origins and Legends is just, like, a different region compared to what Rayman 3 is. Cause... You know what? Here's something funny. What? Yeah. Um, I for some for some for some reason I wouldn't know what livid was for a good while because when I because playing Origins I thought livid just meant for it basically just meant as a retirement home. <laughs> yeah. I mean, which is funny when you consider the the, the dead. Yeah. But like um, I don't know. Uh, yeah, one head cannon I had was that like just one region of livid dead is just, is like calm and peaceful and it's where the ghost teensies live I guess and like the other region is where it's like all messed up and like the, where the grannies are that that's like that's the best way I can make sense of it but I kind of I know what the heck is this a <laughs> monk this is not in the original game okay let's go ask the oh boss. oh I see that's interesting. What? Okay, it's those spinny things from aim from aim from a uh, from a uh, scrap rain zone. Oh yeah. Just with uh, just less chaotic, I guess. I was gonna say with probably better physics. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the physics are fine. It's, it's with with that. It's just like it's really hard to be accurate with it because it goes so freaking fast. <sighs> And you have to be moving fast to even get the spin going. Yeah. Nice jump. Nice. Yeah. Again. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Ray Rayman's world in general is just really cool. I it's probably one of my favorite, like, fictional worlds. Just because it's... Yeah. Again, it gives you a lot of different feelings, and it's just generally just really magical, for lack of a better term. Um, so I... I don't get that feeling from a lot of other games. It's like... I don't know, Shilling Rayman 3... I was gonna 3, say, maybe kill the fly. <laughs> yeah, Shilling Rayman 3 again, but like, you hear some of the music in that game and it just... It, ju it just gives you such a magical feeling, I love it. <laughs> I mean, th this game, uh, Rayman One uh, does it does that as well. Um, like we like the um, uh, one of the tracks in this world. I think it's called Harmony. Um, it's like really nice. Oh god. 
Um, Jesus. Yeah, I. Is it? Is this a thing? Is this just? I think this is just death. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you die? Yes. Sorry, I had to. I had to look away for a moment. Uh, yeah. No, Ray Rayman Two is kind of like the odd one out. Like it's um, it's. I I think I kind of mentioned this before, but it's it's kind of like the like natural beauties of the world kind of thing. Um, because there's, there's a lot of like greenery stuff in that game. I know. Do we need to go back up there? I, I, it might just be this. I'm not convinced there's anything over there. Okay. Yeah. Oh jeez. Hey. Almost oh. need that one. Uh, gotta love that combo. Gotta love that combo music. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. God. Uh hi. Oh. No. No. <laughs> I like his this, face isn't changing. Sir. This is a well-made game. Thanks, Ubisoft. <laughs> oh, I see. Another instance of uh, uh, t take take a shot every time I say something about the original game. Uh, this cloud thing, I'm pretty sure, was not a thing. Neither was this. I mean, yeah, the cloud was not really a factor for video games in 1995, Harry. <laughs> God. <laughs> When I think of when I think of clouds, the very first thing I think of is the boss from Mario Party. If Mario. Oh yeah, that. Um, guy. I think of, I think of um, was it that random cloud enemy in Total Mountain? Oh yeah, that thing. That's. I, like that thing reacts so slowly. Like I, I don't know. If, I don't know if I've ever. Do I tempt fate? You do what you want to do. Oh. What's the point of that? Nothing. I see. Probably to scare you. You get nothing. Good day, sir. Yeah. But yeah. No. I. I, <laughs> I don't know if anyone's like. I mean, I. There's probably people that have died to the uh, cloud in '64, but like, it, it reacts so slowly. The first level of music again. <laughs> yes. It's nice to have this, uh, like, mosquito, like, like actually have, um, more significance. Yeah. I'm sorry, you want more levels of the mosquito shooting out its... fluids? <laughs> yeah. I mean, these are fun levels. Yeah. Um, I, I, it, it is worth not pointing out with these that, um, yeah, the... Uh, I've already mentioned that, like, the, uh, first time you ride, uh, I think it's, like, Bzit or whatever, um, no. the, um, that's the only time you ride him, and at the end section, th there's an end section where, like, he goes super fast, um, and I'm, I don't know if that's, I, 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 I'm pretty, f I'm convinced that that, uh, section, or, like, that gameplay segment is, like, not in this, so. Barely, you barely grabbed that thing. Yeah, I know. Look! <laughs> Kill the eyes. Oh, Ew. Shooting that stuff right in their eyes. My eye! Can you kill him? Again, you can't kill the cloud because no one in 1995 knew what the cloud was. Yeah. Also, it's, it's snowing. I, I just realized that. Terrible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you, Jason. <laughs> oh, you. Look at that face. Yeah. Yeah, I think... I think in the original as well, you, at, at max you had, you could get up to five hit points. Take a shot. Uh, yep. Uh, yeah. Don't worry, I'll be drunk, I'll be drunk by the end of this part. <laughs> sound? <laughs> got the sound effect. But that... It sounds so wrong. You know what? It, no, it, it gives off um, uh, um, Kazooie pooping out like eggs. For <laughs> it it kind of gives off that vibe. 
It's always what I want to be reminded of when playing a game. Yeah, boy. Is Kazooie spitting on an egg? Spitting? No. No, uh, yeah, uh, shooting, shooting out from, from her behind. Uh, uh rear egg. A rear egg, if you will. Yeah. yeah, rear egg. I mean, isn't that actually what it's called in Smash? Yes. Probably. I mean, it, it deliberately has like a like a poop sound, so... Yeah. <sighs> or a fart sound at any rate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they knew what they were doing. Yeah. What oh, rare being rare. dirty? I, I don't believe it. Yeah, I I love that like, like um, uh, like pretty much all all rare games have like some like innuendos and uh and like dirty jokes like hid like hidden somewhere and then yeah like, hidden but, uh, yeah hidden in uh, massive air quotes and then bad fur day is basically them just with no restraint whatsoever yeah. And I mean, like um, that, 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 like the trend of them hiding, of uh, hiding dirty jokes and stuff that continues even in, even as Playtonic and Ukulele and um, oh yeah, and Impossible Air. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember the I don't remember those games too well off offhand, but yeah, I can imagine. I remember Impossible Lab being pretty good. Yeah, Impossible Air is really fun. Now to see if you can grab that cage that was down there. Like, but like, I, I've, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. If, 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 if Ukulele event ends up getting a proper sequel, and it's not called Tukulele, then what's even the point? Yeah, right. I wonder what they, what Platonica are like doing currently. Like, are they? Um... I know that, like, like, I, I, I know that they're, I know they have like a subs. A subsidiary called Platonic Friends, where they basically publish other indie type games. Because I know there's one game called like um. Demon Turf called Demon's Turf. It's like a 3D platformer, like Mario 64. They oh, yeah. they kind of. Uh, I've heard of. The, I I think I've seen that. I was that in like direct at one point. I think there was oh, a direct really? in that, but like basically, like you you like you basically play as like this demon girl named Beebs, who decides that she wants to become. She who decides that she wants to become the new ruler of hell. So yeah. that's basically what she does. So that's basically what she does. She just goes on the planet of to essentially become the new ruler of hell. Nice. <laughs> Fun for the whole family. <laughs> oh, okay, I see one. I need to get momentum. Better a hidden platformer or platform. These platform. Uh, I can't remember, I'm not sure what to call these things. These slippy slide things. They're like just frozen streams of toothpaste. Yeah, what are these <laughs> streams of toothpaste? That's pretty good. <laughs> well, it's supposed to be music related. I'll leave that to Xavier. A staff, maybe? Oh! Yeah, maybe I. Yeah, I'll go forward a bit. I just like to pretend it's like the interior of like the, um, I guess the slide mechanic on like a trombone. Or uh, trombone, am I thinking of the right brass instrument? I'm very musically inclined, right. folks. Sounds, I mean, it sounds about right. I like uh, music theme levels in games. Yeah, they're always nice. Yeah. There we go. Hey, you got it. Hey. Hey. Oh, dang like, I don't said, good. like I don't understand this like last time, but like um but like when I think of music theme when I think of like music theme stages, the first one I always think of is the is Rice Star. That's a really good one, yeah. That's like This game gives me Rice Star vibes. Yeah. Yeah, I think you and, said that last time. Yeah, it kind of does give a flight. Yeah, I think I remember that. that actually. Okay, I need to turn yeah. tiny. Except oh, Rice, so. like, ex except Rice Star isn't except Rice Star isn't hard. Um, or like not unfairly hard. It's not as hard as Rayman, but I still say R Rice Star can be hard. Hmm. Also, I'm reminded of uh, that Sega Saturn platformer called uh, Astel. Astel, I've never heard of that. I only know it because of Super Gaming Brothers, so... Yeah. I, 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 I remember, like, this one obscure, like, I, I think it was on Sega Saturn, but it was called Bug. The only way I know, and apparently, I know that, like, 
there's a level where you actually race against Sonic. Okay. Uh. Good thing that stuff. It's a good thing that the enemy's mace doesn't like swing back even when the enemy gets defeated. Yeah, right. I or was snap kinda, back. I was a little bit wor worried about that. It's gonna be like a. That'd be like a. That'd be like I don't know. Sounds like something that would happen to Ed and Eddie. Yeah. Probably. Can we? I would like to have a game, any game that just has Ed and a sound design. Sword or not? That'd be. That'd be. Like Rayman Origins might be the closest thing we'll ever get. Probably. Speaking of which, can we get another Rayman game, please? How about no? Like, uh, the most they've done is, um, well, outside of the, like, Sparks of Hope DLC, um, the most they've done is, like, these, um, like, Origins-type, um, like, uh, games on mobile. Runner games. Yeah, mobile yeah, games, which mobile is, like, games. that's fine, I don't have anything against that, but, like, give us a console game, <laughs> like, please! Yeah, I mean, like, I've heard that, like, are... the... Cause I've heard the mobile games are actually, the mobile Rayman games are actually pretty good. Yeah, I played a bit of, um... Like mini? Oh, that's tough. <laughs> uh, I played, played a bit of a. a mini. Hey, it hurt the look. Well, it did hurt the look. It, it killed you. I've um yeah, I played a bit of um of mini, and it was uh, uh I remember it uh, being pretty good. I didn't play that much of it though, uh, and that's nothing to do with the game. It's just I don't really play mo mobile games that much. Um, the one thing I will say is that it it um. Uh, that, along with uh, Super Mario Run, uh, triggers my OCD because there's um, like a counter for like all the lums and stuff. So I just have to keep. Uh, so I like just keep replaying the same level just to get everything, um, and it's kind of maddening. Yeah. Uh, it, that that in uh, Mario Run is like I I can like kind of just not play that game because the. The um the way that game works is like uh what is it? There's like I think you start a level and there's like the red coins. Can this thing die, please? Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> the uh it, it gives like the red coins and then you and then you get all of those and then like you get an another tier of collectible and then you I think there's another one beyond that. It's basically like how Sonic Forces of all games works, where like you have to keep playing the level again and again to get like. Then more and more tiers of collectibles, which I, I'm not the biggest fan of that set setup. I kind of wish that all the collectibles would just be there from the start, and like whether or not you have to play the level again is whether or not like you can get everything in one go or not. Um, so it's like, like, and that game is not easy. Like, it's really hard to actually get said collectibles in the first place. So I just be playing the same levels again and again just to get these stupid things and then the game's just like oh wait there's more <laughs> oh, wait there's more and like oh jesus i don't know if i i i think i just got I, I think i just did world one and then just stopped because i just that game was just murdering me okay i know for a fact this was in the original game take a shot <laughs> face <laughs> Yes. We. <laughs> what is that? Raymond doesn't have a neck, it? otherwise he'd be vomiting for all the motion sickness. Is it like, is he clumping, clumping, crack, crack, like, <laughs> putting, like, holding his body together or something when he's doing that? Maybe. I never really thought too much about that animation until you brought it up. Like, really it's just because, like. It's just a weird jump animation, or or air animation, rather. A little bit, yeah. Well, when you neutral frosted... jump, it looks fine, but... Look at all these frosted coconuts. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah. The I guess the other thing about, you know, like... People don't mind their eyes getting blinded for a little bit. Yeah, right. Um... I, the... Can I please stop taking hot shots? Um, the thing about... Uh, well, you could. Uh, 
Uh, weird, like, weird dream, uh, like, weird surreal stuff in, like, like, the Rayman's world in general is that, like, you never really know what to expect, and I, I, I feel like that's, like, part of the fun. And, uh, they can just, the, the platforming can just be really weird stuff. So I guess, um, it's like, the only limit to the level design in these games is like, the developer's imagination. Hmm. Was that another toenail box up there? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna see that toenail box. There it is. Right, cl close, yeah, great close to take out of context. Toenail! There it is! Or, or is uh, another thing that Cat Icarus called it is just like, I found the Skittle! <laughs> I don't know what those things are. Like, what am I actually getting? Doritos. <laughs> uh. This is a mistake. You remember how I went to get nachos while we were playing ga Galaxy? Oh, crap. Yes. Yeah, that's what, stuff what Rayman's doing? getting. <laughs> I went to get- I went down to get nachos, what do you say? <laughs> oh, god. By the way, just remind me, everything you've already collected before you died stays collected, right? Um, I think so. So you don't have to get the toenail again? Oh I, assume, I, I assume not. Better go double check, I guess. Um... I guess. Thank goodness for modern games actually having like a in-level in, -level in, in -level inventory on the pause menu. Uh, final check. Oh. I say modern games, like games of this era also did that, just not this game. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you collected the red, you collected all the red coins. Hope you remember that. Yeah. <laughs> Is there anything down here? We're about to find out. His fist. Punch! Keep track of your breath and consider how to get fisted. <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> it's from Vine Source. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's see if let's see if the toenail box is still there. It's nope, you got it. Free. Okay. All right, that's All right. good on cool. them. So the only things that respawn are tings and one ups, I guess. Are we gonna die again? Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> that that part is kind of awkward <laughs> with, as a tiny Rayman because you're you're so slow. <laughs> All right. Sorry for making you waste a life, but now we have knowledge. And so knowledge is more important. Yep, yeah, knowledge, knowledge is power. Ah! Oh. Well, that's power, not dying. That would be nice. Oh god. Unfortunately. I prefer the, uh... Uh... Well, <laughs> I was about to say, if you die here, there's a checkpoint. <laughs> yeah. So, good thing you had that idea. <laughs> yep. <laughs> God, yeah, the, the more I think about it, like, the... Just... This series just gets so, like, shafted so badly, like... It genuinely has some of the best platformers I've ever played, but like, there's so little of them. Like, there's <laughs> like this series is just like, like why? Why do they yeah, do Rayman, it so? Why do they do it so dirty? Rayman has had multiple rises and multiple falls. Yeah, because like because they because they can't monetize it. Yeah, yeah you know yeah, they yeah. they can't they they're at, they're there. They're. Ubisoft only has so many developers. If they don't want to make a Rayman game, then they don't want to. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I get. Yeah. The, I the thing is as well, like I, 
It's like, why, of all developers, why did Ubisoft have to make Rayman? Because it's like... Because Michel Ancel happened to have employed himself there, and... Yeah. Ugh. If well, he had been screwing around for it. ten years on Beyond Good and Evil 2, maybe we'd have a new Rayman. <laughs> Yeah, and I. What, what yeah, it three, two, one. Oh, we we shall see. How the heck am I supposed to deal with this? That's the neat part. You don't. Some <laughs> <Stumble> problem. <laughs> ah! Dang it! I don't think I can. Yeah, I got him. Perhaps I'm being too harsh on Ansel. Maybe. Beyond uh, good, we'll oh, see. Oh, I so see. Beyond Good and Evil 2 just seems to have hit yet another snag. Or just never got over its last snag. I don't know. It's been in development hell. Yeah, like, I... The thing is, as well, uh, Michelle, Michelle Ansel doesn't... isn't involved with game development anymore, so I... Like, what is going on with uh, Beyond Good and Evil 2? Like, is that still in development? Well, it hasn't been officially cancelled, so... We thought maybe just pass it on to other team members to see if it could be salvaged. Mm. So I'm not even the like the biggest like fan of Beyond Good and Evil or anything, but like the first game was say like, like it was really good. Like, I only played it once, but it it um it's a really good game, and like I um I kind of feel for the people that uh, have been waiting for a, a sequel uh, since it came out, and it's like it's in. A dodgy place right now, to put it lightly. Mm. See, Rayman is one of those franchises that just really requires like an advocate within the company. Yeah, like, every franchise oh, for, from yeah. any company needs that, but it seems like Rayman especially. Yeah. Like, yeah. Ubisoft could absolutely make Rayman games without <laughs> Ansel's heavy involvement. They already have. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Listen, I'm on my way from work. <laughs> I thought you were hitting the, the things in rhythm with the music. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, yeah, it's... You, you kind of just need to have the right developers, like... Like, yeah. let's take Soul Calibur 6, for example. Sold multiple millions of copies, and we still don't have a Soul Calibur 7 in development, as far as we know. Yeah. Well, who made Soul guess... Calibur again? Well, that's, that's Namco, right? Namco, yeah, that's Namco. Oh, dang it. Oh, that's fine. Yeah! Wow. I could jump down there and kill you right now. Here we go. The, yeah, this is the actual boss. Yeah, so the... Oh, okay. Um, the beginning, be beginning bit is, is basically... Uh, it, it just makes this part easier, depending on how many times you hit the notes back. Did it carry over if you die? I don't know. Let's find out! I'd prefer not to. Are you taking the hits? Yeah, he's, ta he's taking damage, it just doesn't look like it. You just look at the uh, health in the bottom right. He's really good at those air swerves, so give him that. Yeah. He's officially better in the air than a Belmont. Yeah, right? Yeah. Um. Oh, so, Jesus. Yeah, I say, if you don't know what you're doing, this, this guy can catch you off guard, but I... Honestly, I think I'd say this guy is easier than Mosquito. Like stuff like this is uh it is it's less scary than it looks. Yeah. Alright, what's your last surprise? It come in for you, your game's always so fast, so fine. <laughs> yeah, that's it. She never saw it coming. It's uh, yeah, it's, it's basically th this boss is basically a game of um, being like being calm, I guess. Because like yeah, when when you see all those notes like scatter around like that, it's easy to panic. But again, it's it's uh, less scary than it looks. Just just uh, try not to f like freak out, and you'll be fine. <laughs> 